head of the Chipotle gang, of course, and a world famous upcoming DJ and producer. Yeah. My name is LBB from Underground Sound, and thank you for taking the time. I know yeah, you're yeah. really busy. All good. Um, first question I have to ask: Did you just buy everybody Chipotle? No. Okay. Because <laughs> that was just like, oh. I'm yeah. working on it so soon. I'm gonna have like a big ass Chipotle party. I'm gonna shut a whole Chipotle down. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. That's that sounds great. So okay, we'll get right into it. Um. How long have you been producing for, and how did you get started? Producing for the last like five years. Three of the years I was making hip hop, and the last year I was making dance music. And hip hop thing was going really good, and I got really tired and bored of it. I started making dance music, and now I'm here. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's awesome. It's pretty fast. Pretty fast. Yeah. Um, do you have any like musical background or like training? No. Really? Not at all. How did you like start producing? Uh, football season was done. I had nothing to do. And I lived in the country, so I stayed on my computer every day. Started making beats, and I sucked for a long time. And then I just, I guess, got kind of good, and this is where I'm at. Yeah. What uh, What program is it for start off? Fruity Loops. Fruity Loops? Yeah, I'm still using Fruity Loops. Still Fruity Loops? Yeah. Um, what's your like studio setup? Like? The studio setup is my computer, two speakers. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. That's all. Okay. And like, I know a lot of producers like uh, they like being in the studio. They like being on the road. What's the most comfortable like environment for you to record? The studio. studio. I can't work on the road. It's really bad. I need to learn how to because I have a lot of deadlines to do. But the studio. I can't yeah. imagine all the deadlines. There's so many remixes coming out. Yeah, right now a lot. Like yeah. I've seen you've been doing like you know you like you don't have a set style because I've seen you you know you got Borgord to do a house track at 128. Yeah. How did you get that to happen? Like um, and ex especially Borgord on spinning records like you know. A lot of a lot of the guys a lot of people think that like because the guy does drum and bass or he does dubstep or he does house or he does trance doesn't mean he that's all he does you know Borgor is a big house fan and we were like okay we're gonna make a house song and everybody thought I was a trap guy and I made a, a house a trap fucking I made a house song and that's when a lot of weird things started happening because people were mad I didn't do a trap song blah blah but I got over it it's just you just gotta what it is is you can't just do something out of the norm or, or like ordinary like if you're if Armin Van Buren can't drop a trap song and let it be shit it has to be amazing. Or else people are going to be like, he just wants to do... He wants to, to do something cool or something, you know? Yeah, that's how I look at it. So, um, what genre do you feel, or what uh, BPM do you feel most comfortable producing? Or do you just go with the flow? I just go with well, whatever. I'm not like an 80 to 90 to 100 BPM kind of guy. Everything else is pretty good. Do you uh, do you plan to expand to you know try a different genre, other different genres like you know I heard there's you know there's Mobitone now there's uh, Zook bass coming out it's even slower it's like Mobitone half the speed like do you plan to like you know vary it up and try everything? I don't, I don't know. Uh, I'm just I'm about to just drop a lot of house songs. Drop a lot of house songs yeah. like uh, it's, uh, like the big room stuff with, yeah. with that that vibe with yeah, the I reverb. Love, and yeah, stuff. I love that shit. That reverb just it's awesome. I fucking love it. <laughs> so um, right now, who's your who do you think of? Uh, what's your favorite EDM producers right now? Headhunters. Headhunters. That's about it. Hardwell. Jack, of course. Yeah, those type of guys are the ones I really like. Production-wise, are just like insane. And um, uh, question after that was going to be: If you could collaborate with any uh, non-electronic artist, who would it be? Wild Bell. Who? Wild Bell. A anybody else? Who is that, by the way? Dope sure. ass girl from Chicago group. It's a brother and a sister. Mm -hmm. I love the sister. She's so hot. What <laughs> but she's like an amazing singer. She's like Lambert Ray 2.5. 2.5. Really cool. That's yeah. serious. That like 0.5 is a lot more serious. Yeah. Way, way more serious. So, um, so if you had any uh, dream, I know you've been like selling out a lot of places, going everywhere. Do you have any specific dream venue that you would like to perform at? Madison Square Garden. 
Madison Square Garden. I'd love to see that. That'd be awesome. That would be really awesome. Yeah. And um, how do you feel about like? Um, I know a lot of produ- like there's a lot of producers that are against the whole mainstream electronic fusing. And now you got you know, our Diplo's working with Waka Flocka now. How do you feel about you know the EDM scene converging into the mainstream scene now, finally after so long? Yeah, uh, it's cool. It's it's gonna it's, it's gonna happen either way, you know. Uh, it's cool though. I'm happy because it's like it's, it's breaking boundaries. Would you collaborate with any like rap artists or any pop I've artists? Corrap- I've collaborated with a lot of rap artists. But I mean like uh, like uh, which people don't know. Uh, oh yeah, I'm talking about like uh, mainstream people. Like if let's say Two Chainz hits you up, can I get a yeah. track? I mean, I have a re- I have a track with Gucci. I have a track with Waka, Chris Brown. A lot of people don't know that. Though. Yeah. Yeah, ASAP Rocky. Oh wow! Oh yeah, from New York. So you know, we love that. And um, how do you feel about the current electronic scene? It's awesome. Love it. I think it's awesome. Love it's gonna it's, it's gonna get harder too. It's gonna go, the music is gonna go harder. You think it's just gonna keep being. Oh yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's about to happen. Um, here's a fun question. If you weren't producing, what do you think you'd be doing right now? Um. Being an A and R at a at a at a fucking label or something? Oh you'd still stick with music. Yeah. Uh, of course. And um Chipotle gang. Where did that start at? Um just being coming to Chipotle a lot and like randomly like everybody has like their favorite food and like people do like their own like thing. Sushi gang, I've seen that, salad gang, cranking. Uh, Brill's got the hummus gang going. Yeah, yeah, et cetera, et cetera. They have all the thing. Mine's just Chipotle. I guess just people can... Ran with it. Yeah, just ran with it really hard. And I was like, all right, fuck it. It's just such... I mean, who does eat Chipotle? Of course, of course. Especially in New York. There's Chipotle, like, in every corner. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so uh, how do you feel about, like... Um, do you have any uh, advice for upcoming producers? Like, specific, like, tactics or... For how you know to get out there to um, actually get recognized? Don't give up. As cliche as it sounds, do not give up. And do something that's going to get you to an area where where you want it. There, what what I've learned is do something that gets you to a point where you can do what you want to do. You're gonna have to sacrifice. You're gonna have to do things. You're gonna have to do things to get to where you where you need to be, and, and when you and then when you get to the place where you need to be, that's when you can explore. I think. I don't know. Or you, or you know what I'm saying? There's 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 that's the that's uh, that's one way to do it. Another way is do it. Just do whatever you want, and people if, if it's good, you know, people are gonna like it, and you build a fan base that way. Or you fucking do you know you. You make bangers and you make them until you get to a point where people you're, you're respected, and that's when you can do like random ass shit. Keep so, at it. Yeah, keep at it. Um, so, um, uh, right. I was gonna ask. Our company name is uh, Underground Sound. What comes to your mind when you think Underground Sound? Deep House. Deep House. Uh, underground scene. Yeah. Yeah, 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 we cover that too. So rave shit, awesome. rave, rave music. So did you, did you like you used to go to raves a lot when you were a kid? Yeah. No, 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 no. no. I, I started going to it in high school and I was into a bunch of like raves. Mm-hmm. That's about it. What kind of, uh, what kind of music do you listen to on the side? Other than what you're on? Deep house. Deep house. Really? What's your Art favorite style? artist? Uh, Julio Bashmore. Oh, nice, nice, love it. Uh, I, I listen to a bunch of hard style and West controllers, headhunters, and rap shit and stuff. Awesome. What kind of rap are you? Are you into like underground rap or like mainstream rap? I hate lyrical rap. Really? With all like the lyric shit and all that stuff. Like, uh, like I don't know. I'm more into just like some trap shit, like real trap shit. No blur. No. No fucking uh, pun intended. No pun intended. How do you feel about like? Uh, I know some people are leaving a trap style. Like there are you know hip hop tracks. There are trap tracks. Like, what do you consider it as? I'm an artist. An artist, of course. Of course. Yeah, because like putting the labels on it, you know, it just means it if anything. Yeah. So, 
Um, I know. You, are you excited for tonight? This is your first time in New York? I'm fucking tough. Second. Second. Did Pasha. And now I'm doing oh, yeah. Pasha. I was there at Pasha. That was actually really awesome. So, I'm fucking um, pumped. Um, I don't want to take up any more of your time. I'll you know, just wrap it up. But thank you for taking the time out with us. Thanks, bro. If you could give a shout out real quick. Underground Sound. Carnage. Underground Sound. Chipotle. You heard it. We're here. That's it. Tabasco sauce. For real. And Pink Ball Basics. That's what we're all about. You know? Off top. <laughs> Underground Sound. Television. Signing off. LVB. Thank you. Cool.